Have you ever heard someone tell you, yeah, we are the chosen people. We are the black Hebrew Israelites. We're somehow superior because God chose us. And they use the scripture in Romans chapter nine, verse 13, that says, Esau, I hated, but Jacob, I loved. And you're quite confused because you're like, they really use this as a reason to tout that somehow God, a God of unity, a God of love from the Hebrew dialect from beginning and end shows that God is about unity and love. It says, love your neighbor with all your heart, soul, and mind and love your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. So are you confused? Now we know the Hebrew language is actually both pictorial and numerical. There's a thing called biblical numerology. So every word has a picture. Every letter has a picture. And if you study it, it is actually magnificent. From the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible, if you really want to get deep, you can actually look at individual words and they have a meaning within themselves. So when we look at the word hate in Hebrew, is actually giving us a totally different picture than what we understand in English for hate to mean. In English, hate actually has a disdain, a intense emotion about a dislike for someone. But when we look in Hebrew, we see that the word sena is actually quite different. The Hebrew word sane is actually a picture of a thorn and a seed. And when we look at that, we see that the thorns are meant to protect or to shield away from pain or avoid pain or harm. So when we look at the Hebrew definition, it's more about being hurt and wounded because of love, not necessarily the same intense emotions of dislike and hatred that we see in the English definition. So hatred in Hebrew is less about confrontation or intense emotional um, reaction is more of a avoidance of pain or, you know, physical emotion, making a choice to avoid pain. This understanding can give us a very clear picture of God and his character. Understanding this new view of hatred in Hebrew, we can see scriptures totally different. Now, take, for instance, the scripture about Leah. Genesis 29, 31 talks about Leah, that God opened up her womb because she was hated. Now, if we apply that new definition of how Hebrewic language sees it, we have a different view. There are some translations that say unloved, not hated. And this makes sense because we never see anything in the scriptures that say that Jacob was aggressive towards Leah in any kind of way. He just mostly stayed away from Leah, which also would imply the same definition of sane as avoidance. If we look at the scripture that says, Jacob I love and Esau I hate it, we realize that in the scripture, Esau throughout the whole Bible is the only person that God says he hated. Could it be that God was wounded by Esau's rejection of him? Esau literally gave up his birthright for a bowl of stew. But we have to look at it this way. Did God really reject Esau or did Esau reject God? I think Esau rejected God. And that rejection caused the father so much pain. In this particular verse, we see that it God is brokenhearted and very much pain because of his choices his direct disobedience. God isn't really described as this God of anger in the Bible and that he's just going to take every one of our actions and beat us over the head. Actually, the scriptures say something totally different. Exodus 34 and 6 says that he is very compassionate and very slow to anger. The same thing with us. When we feel pain, guess what? We want to withdraw. We don't want to be hurt. And so we're made in God's image. He's the same way. Yet we see God encourage us that we should still love despite how people hurt us. And throughout the scriptures, we see that instead of avoiding the hurt, that we are to return to love. Luke 6, 27 says, for those who have ears to hear that we should love our enemies. 
do good to those who hate, hurt us and who hate us. So with that new revelation, maybe we should look at it a little bit different. It's not necessarily that Esau is hated by God and somehow he is a rejected nation. No, we actually are loved by God and God came back for both of us.